Vegan, Climate Best Solution. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nasi te predavanje predlagat mnogo jezici. Molio vište suprememastertv.com naklon na črta schedule. The Earth's magnetic field runs in curves all around the globe, from the South Magnetic Pole to the North Magnetic Pole. Animals equipped with internal compasses are able to navigate by analyzing its direction, intensity or inclination to determine their location or direction. Watch on to find out more. Contabai means how are you in Papiamento, a language spoken in the Caribbean Sea Islands. My name is Abi and I'm a vegan Caribbean spiny lobster from the Caribbean Sea. All lobsters from our family thank you for all you do to bring more peace to our world. We wish you much joy, happiness and good fortune in life. Welcome to our show, Animal Internal Navigation Systems, on Supreme Master Television. Our hearts empathize a lot with all who are impacted by COVID-19 around the planet. Some stories have touched our hearts deeply. For example, that of Pip Squeak, or Pip, the Dutch hund who traveled more than 16,000 kilometers to be reunited with her human family thanks to the intervention of many kind-hearted and dedicated friends along the way. While Pipsqueak was escorted by loving humans via modern transportation networks, many other animals travel long distances on their own using their own internal compasses and other ingenious ways of tracking their location and direction. For example, some species, such as homing pigeons, migratory birds, ants, bees, fish, sea turtles and yes, even lobsters like myself, are able to journey thousands of miles away from our place of birth and back again. Some of my friends in the animal kingdom even have navigational skills far superior to those of our human co-inhabitants. Some of us do it just once in a lifetime, while others do it every year. Do you want to know the secret of how we do it? It's called magnetoreception, and it's an extrasensory ability that we have which allows us to detect the Earth's magnetic field so as to perceive direction, altitude or location. The Earth's magnetic field runs in curves all around the globe from the South Magnetic Pole to the North Magnetic Pole. Animals equipped with internal compasses are able to navigate by analyzing its direction, intensity or inclination to determine their location or direction. Dogs are particularly talented when it comes to finding a certain location. In April 2016, Perro, a four-year-old sheepdog, walked 380 kilometers along the coastlines of central Wales on his own, from Cockermouth in Cumbria to his home near Aberystwyth. Dogs are famous for their incredible sense of smell, which scientists estimate is between 10,000 and 100,000 times more powerful than that of humans. But scientists have recently discovered that dogs also determine directional and positional information from the Earth's magnetic field. In a study from 2014 to 2017 in the Czech Republic, scientists tracked 27 dogs along 662 expeditions from inside forests back to their human families. 
The dogs would usually follow their own scent back, but about a third of the time they would first walk about 20 meters in the north-south direction, as if calibrating their own internal compass and aligning it with their own visual map of the area, before heading in the direction they needed to go. We Caribbean spiny lobsters deploy our internal magnetic field detector while walking in the vicinity of our dens and during our seasonal migrations. And, as nocturnal marine animals, we can also easily use this to find our way back to our shelters after foraging in the sea. It is our innate geographic localization system that allows us, the spiny lobsters, to navigate vast and dark seas by interpreting changes in the Earth's magnetic field. Every year, just before the first winter storms arrive, we spiny lobsters gather into small groups first and then later merge into larger crowds. We then form disciplined, ordered queues and patiently journey for over a week, usually from the shallows into the deep warm seawater, where we remain during winter. In the summer, loggerhead sea turtles lay their eggs on the eastern coast of Florida, USA. Guided by the Earth's magnetic field and other environmental clues, their hatchlings know which direction to walk in order to return quickly to the sea. These valiant little ones then accomplish one of the longest and most spectacular migrations in the animal kingdom. The hatchlings use their internal compasses, applying their inherited inner magnetic analyzers to courageously surmount the North Atlantic Gyre and navigate 12,875 kilometers through four ocean currents in the region of the Sargasso Sea to finally reach the safety of the open sea. In studying the brains of loggerhead sea turtles, scientists detected the presence of magnetite, a naturally magnetic mineral which is believed to be what the turtles use to detect the Earth's magnetic field. Spectacular viewers! Isn't it amazing how adaptive animals can be? I am going to enjoy a little excursion to admire some beautiful coral reefs. I will be back soon. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Be vegan, make peace. Welcome back to Animal Internal Navigation Systems on Supreme Master Television. Let's continue to learn about some of the other animals who use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate their journeys. Often animals must travel long distances for food, shelter or to find a mate. For example, adult salmon always return to the rivers of their own birth in order to spawn there and ensure the best possible environment for their young. The young salmon will then journey downstream to the open ocean for more abundant sources of food. Along the way, using their sense of smell and their capacity to analyze the Earth's magnetic field, the younglings will map the various stages of their seaward journey. These adult salmon are widely celebrated for their courageous salmon run that sees them migrate back from the ocean to their original rivers. Such an arduous and perilous journey unfolds as the salmon use their internal compasses to evaluate the intensity and direction of the Earth's magnetic field and the markers they set during their trip to the ocean as juveniles. Perhaps the species with the most mysterious navigational skills of all is the shark. Some sharks can migrate 20,000 kilometers and end up in the same spot, even though in the wide open ocean there aren't many features which they can use as landmarks. In a recent study, scientists found that sharks use the Earth's magnetic field as a kind of natural GPS system.
Our flying friends are just as incredible with navigation. Homing pigeons can journey 1,800 kilometers and determine the exact location of their homes. Scientists believe that homing pigeons navigate using both the Earth's magnetic field and the position of the Sun. Consequently, when the weather is overcast, pigeons can become disoriented. Migratory birds such as zebra finches and European robins have a special protein called cryptochrome in their eyes, which might help them to see magnetic fields, just like we see colors. Scientists recently discovered that when blue light is shown at similar human cells, they respond to changes in a magnetic field. Scientists hope this research might soon shed more light on how our mysterious magnetoreception works. In Europe, robins living in Scandinavia and Russia migrate south to the United Kingdom in the winter time. Around the same time, certain robins based in the UK, particularly females, travel to Portugal and Spain to enjoy warmer weather. Research has shown that a mere modification of one thousandth of the intensity of the Earth's magnetic field will affect the European robin's migration pathway. Bats are famous for their ability to not only navigate in the dead of the night, but also to spot objects in the dark. Like loggerhead turtles, bats are also endowed with internal magnetite that allows them to sense the magnetic field in their environment. Indeed, many of our animal brethren are talented navigators, who are able to read the Earth's magnetic field in order to navigate all around the globe. It is not just avian species that are equipped with such navigation systems. An example from the realm of mammals is the African mole rats, who spend most of their time building complex underground tunnel networks. Despite very poor vision, they scamper around their tunnels quite easily because they can detect the Earth's magnetic field through their eyesight, in a similar way to how the European robins probably can. From bacteria to mammals, many organisms use the Earth's magnetic field for orientation and navigation. The small nematode worms live underground and cannot use sunlight or landmarks to determine their geographical location. Yet, these little beings have tiny magnetic sensors that detect variations in the magnetic field around them. When hungry, they move downwards into the soil and once their stomach is full, they dig upwards, back towards the surface. Blissful viewers! It has been my absolute pleasure to highlight the ingenious navigational talents of my fellow animals who make traveling the Earth's surface, oceans and skies look as easy as a walk in a park. I bid you a safe journey wherever you travel to next and wish you well. Compassionate viewers, thank you for being with us for our show today. Coming up next is The Power of Love, A Master's Sacrifice, Part 5 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May heaven bless you with peace and love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw. Vegan leader, true lifesaver.